Hidalgo, who could be a matchup nightmare for Oregon State, gets her first basket. Now, maybe not easy opportunities, but she's going to get a lot of opportunities to get to the rim, and then her decision making at the rim is going to be critical. And see how Oregon State continues to attack on the offensive end. And O'Hawton. Able to get around Beers, running the pick and roll, gets it up and in and drew the foul. Fam, she's got such good hands. Man, Olhoffen does a great job of putting it on the money, but having to gather that, stay on balance. That transfer from Fordham. Westbelt in traffic, hits it. Made it in with good defense. And then inside, somehow that pass made it way into Beers and was taken away by Westbelt. DeWolf on the run, up and in. That's exactly what the Irish won. That was a picture-perfect defensive possession. Notre Dame feasting on getting out in transition all season long. Gardner, sweet. Westbelt guarded out there by Gardner. Now, we have two freshman point guards in Hunter and Hidalgo for Hannah. Right to the bucket. And Pam, that's her growth right there. Another offensive rebound for Oregon State. Gardner's got a little spot over there. Now Gransford bottled up in the lane. Westbell left it into the bottom of the net. Maybe Miles out all year. There's Beers, quickly gets double, was able to just gather herself and put it in. Beers now with four points. And Beers leads the nation in field goal percentage. And she's showing you that she just doesn't miss. And for her ACL in the ACC tournament, so it's Nat Marshall all day, all the time. And Beers hits again. Four and a half plus per game. TVO stopped by Citron. Lefty shot buried from the outside by Lily Hansford. Oregon State is always a team that has had nearly perfect spacing. And when you're in scramble mode, they make the right play. Westbell got a friendly bounce or two, and that breaks a 9 0. The two things I think about when I think about Scott Ruick's teams obviously, the defense and the spacing. His teams have nearly perfect spacing all the time on offense. And Maddie Westbelt. Westbelt has started every game of her career that she has played in at Notre Dame. Here's working on Marshall. And we spoke with Reagan yesterday. Hunter just picked up her first foul for the Beavers. There's a. Almost giveaway. DeWolf able to recover, but then Parova blocked it. Outside shot. Here's Bransford. And then deflected away by Hunter to slow down the break. Citron cool as they come. Again, she said, I've just started to feel comfortable over the last couple of weeks, and you can tell it. Here she comes. Citron scoring the last five points for the Irish. Her plays certainly reflected that. Hunter on to Wolf. Beers comes up with another rebound. And then Parova off glass. It took a while, it good. but yeah. long <laughs> Citron, she's so crafty, yeah. particularly on the offensive end of the floor. She is an elite player. Another three, good box out by Bransford. Here's the Doggo. One of the few times they've had the ball in the open court. The Wolf for three, hit it! A little calmly and coolly knock it down, but in transition, Hannah Hidalgo. It's a toughie. <laughs> Two and a half minutes left to go. TVO's been rather quiet, but that's a good decision always. Being all in their face. Hidalgo comes over to help. To Wolf, Citron beautifully executed. Second round win against Ole Miss. Beers kicking out. Hansford, smooth. 
One minute to go in the half. Hunter to Gardner, hit it from three. And Caitlin Clark, there's been some activity in Albany surrounding. A little bit, right? A little bit. They will be taking on Colorado. Beers. And they certainly have needed to come up big. Two of the big three on this team. Along with Hidalgo, nice work. And all of them, that is her first points of the game. Oregon State going to continue to give her that mid-range pull-up. She's got to knock a couple of those down. And she's not been able to get any of those steals that we're used to seeing and then going the other way. There's a... And how about the big-time three by Hunter? And then to me... Marshall left open. She won't shoot from there. Citron will. You know, the other thing that you can do if you're Neil Ivy with, with Matt Marshall not being guarded at all, Notre Dame's going to have a lot of space to be able to get a shot off. Gardner, she was from the outside early in the ball game. Now she scored it in the paint. Gardner with the move around Westfeld, who has to be careful with the foul trouble. When Tamiya was a, a seventh or eighth grader, Natalie Williams calling me and saying, hey, I've got this player that's got a chance to be really, really special. And yeah, Natalie Williams, one of the all-time yes. greats in, in basketball, also was a tremendous volleyball player. Citron got it stuffed a couple of times, but the ball stays with the Irish. All games on the ESPN app. Beers getting hit. Now here's Sadago in the open floor. DeWolf nails the three with multiple season ending injuries and they've got that fight and dog mentality and a defensive foul right there on Nat Marshall. Look at this take by Hunter. Great job taking the contact, getting it up high enough. Washington State and Washington State, the only two teams not defecting from the Pac-12. Drive in the hoop. That's the shot right there, the off-ball screening action. They're going to get that all day long. That, that's the one. Westfeld has to be careful. The ball got away from Gardner. The dog go catches, challenges Beard, and got blocked. The other side, Reagan Beers is like, don't bring that in here. Point guard for Oregon State now has three fouls. 16 turnovers for the Beavers. Citron. This take by Sonia Citron. So the pull-up has been there, so she hesitates, right? What that does is it... Notre Dame has played just six players today. The Wolf hits the two. She, she understands right now. She needs to continue to, to pour into Hannah Hidalgo. They're going to need her down the stretch of this ball game. She's got to be able to recover, flush it, but that's another great look. That was fantastic. Here's double-double, continues to grow. 12 rebounds to go along with 16 points all day. All day. That's yep. going to be there all day. Citron was able to take it away from Beers. Westfeld playing with three fouls. Puts it in. Maddie Westfeld. PBO guarded by Citron. Beers with the screen, and it worked perfectly for Gardner, who has turned herself into an elite three-point shooter in this game. A great execution at the end of the quarter by Gardner. Getting another opportunity. It's a possession ball game. 18 turnover for the Beavers. Let's see how Hidalgo responds here in the third quarter. Westfield to Citron. Poetry in motion. Continue to find ways to create some movement, create some off-ball screening action. Great little split in the corner. Sonia Citron reads the curl. In traffic, Hidalgo missed all five of her shots and didn't score in the third quarter. They left Marshall open, <laughs> daring her to score in the second quarter for the Irish. Nice look, and Barry did not make the tournament last year. Four Pac-12 games. Citron, so crafty, uses both hands and then finishes. The championship is presented by... Capital One, what's in your wallet? Five turnovers in the last three and a half minutes for Oregon State. Notre Dame trying to build on the points off turnovers, and they do! Anna DeWolf 
Just two points herself today has missed five out of six shots. Hunter, huge three for the freshman. Hoffman right here. She knows that all eyes are on Reagan Beers on the roll. And what a pass on time, on target. Talented players that he has ever coached. And he's coached a lot of talented players. Certainly has inside the Beers. Marshall with the defense that goes right out to Hansford. And sure, her turn now. Hansford shoots at 45% from the three point line. And that is a big three off of her. And Olhoffen, another stellar defensive play this time by Citron, but then Hunter. One minute left. Hidalgo forces the contact, and finally Hannah Hidalgo gets her first field goal. Gardner into Beers, perfectly executed. Hidalgo. Back to Citron, blocked by Von Olhoffen. TVO with the block. Going to the rim and a little pin in. And a terrific defensive play by Talia Von Olhoffen. And this is a player that Scott Ruick says, and look at that. Hidalgo with another basket earlier this season. And the Oregon State Beavers, one year removed from 13 wins.